So I'm gonna need you to ignore for a second the complete disarray that my studio is in right now, but there's a very exciting reason why it's in disarray and I'm very excited to share it with you guys. So as you may or may not know, the Blue Coats Drum and Bugle Corps made the switch this year from using Yamaha drums to Tama drums. We're extremely proud of the sounds we've made in the past, but I think it's also really enticing to search for that next thing, and sometimes that is the instruments you're playing on. This switch made sense to me mainly because Roger Carter, the percussion caption head, has been a Tama artist for a while now. Plus, more recently, Tom Rarick, who is the director of percussion and arranger at the Blue Coats, also became a Tama artist. So, Tama it is. Now, because the Blue Coats are making the switch for this season, they have a bunch of old Yamaha equipment from last year that they have to get rid of. So, a few months ago, in the Blue Coats alumni page, I saw that they're having an equipment sale. And there was one line item that caught my eye immediately. It said, Yamaha small drum set for battery lot warm-up. Could it be that Shelly, the legendary Blue Cuts lot drum set, was up for grabs? I knew immediately that I had to buy it. The sentimental value alone made it worth the investment. I happened to be there when the whole drum set in the lot thing started. It was my rookie year in 2015 and suddenly Roger Carter comes rolling in on a golf cart his hair was flowing in the wind like it does and he had some mysterious looking drum cases with him and as he was pulling the drums out of these cases and starting to set up this beautiful white Yamaha stage custom drum set he was talking about how he had this idea to use a drum set for a metronome because at DCI finals when everybody warms up at Military Park in Indianapolis you're not allowed to use an amplified metronome because of how, just how loud it is. And once he finally got the drum set set up, we just spent that whole block playing our exercises with the drum set just to kind of see if it would work. And it did. We were having an absolute blast. The vibe was awesome. And we were playing a lot better than we had been up to that point in spring training. What the drum set effectively did was it unified the feel. When all you have to reference is just that incessant beeping of a metronome, something that's actually encouraged for drumline members to do is find the groove still in, in whatever they're playing, even if it's just along with a metronome. But there can be little discrepancies from person to person as far as how that groove is being felt in relation to the music being played, especially in a rudimental percussion setting where oftentimes the music we're playing isn't inherently or obviously groovy. But when we're playing along with a drum set, it's like, no, here's where the bass is, here's where the snare is, and everyone is immediately on the same page as far as where their notes are in relation to one unified groove. So we just kind of went with it. And, you know, it, it didn't come without controversy. There were a few folks that were leaving some comments on YouTube videos about how the drum set takes away from the sound of the drum line or whatever. And people are, of course, entitled to their own opinions. But uh, yeah, that's objectively dumb. The drum set is awesome and it helped us play better. And the Blue Coats have been using this same lot drum set every year since. It's traveled with the core across the country for seven years now. And not only has it become really synonymous with the Blue Coats drum line identity, but it's kind of become a legend in its own right. Even some high school groups I've seen have started to incorporate a drum set into their warm-up routines as well. And it all started because of this Yamaha Stage Custom that is sitting in these boxes right behind me. Let's open them up, shall we? Okay, I wanna apologize again for how messy it is here. Also, I bought these really cheap lav mics off of Amazon, and I think they sound cheap, so Sorry if the audio sucks. Okay, let's uh, let's do the big one first, shall we? There we go. Ooh, okay. Came with the cases too. I appreciate that. Okay. Bass pedal. Love that. You can always use another one of those. I feel like it's pretty thoughtfully package so props to whoever did that by the way I don't know if I mentioned this earlier or not but they still will be using a drum set 
in a lot. It'll just be a Tama drum set and not a Yamaha drum set, obviously. Oh, this is all the hardware. Symbol, oh, symbol, arm, snare stand. Oh, I love it, I love it. This is great! I'm so excited! Okay, so looks like this is what goes in top, in, inside the bass drum. Uh, and there's a tom mount, and then this is for a cymbal, a cymbal mount. Should we take a little ASMR break? On the shitty, on, on the shitty microphone. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. This is good because the throne that I currently use for gigs is more or less a toy, and uh, I'm not getting any skinnier any lighter, so it'll be good to have a little used, but a, a sturdier throne. So my plan, by the way, is to definitely, I'm gonna set it up in here, uh, throw some mics on it, make a couple videos maybe, uh, and then I wanna, I fully intend on using this for gigs. It's a small drum set that's very schleppable, but it also can pack a punch still, so uh, I think it could be pretty versatile for the several bands I'm in. That's all the hardware. Now let's uh, see what we got here. Okay, so looks like they threw in some heads as well. Evans bass drum heads that are stuck together. Ow, Jesus, here they are. <laughs> wow, they really took this thing apart. Okay, this is gonna be more work than I was hoping, but that's okay. Not complaining. A box within a box. I love that. Oh, that's a bunch of lugs, I think. Great. I can't wait to put all this together. It's gonna be so fun. All right, we got a rack down, 10 inch. Next is a floor tom, 14 inch, and then ooh. I gotta show you this. See that? Shelly. Blue 15 through 22. Pretty sweet. I think at this point I'm gonna spare you guys from watching me put the rest of this together. <laughs> uh, cut to hopefully not that long from now when I have this all set up. Well, uh, we did it. I didn't use all the hardware because I had some stuff already set up that I could just use. Um, but she looks great. She sounds all right. Um, I'm gonna mic her up and uh, do something a little more highly produced in a little bit here. I, this took me a lot longer than I had hoped and I need to leave. Um, so I'll do that probably tomorrow. Uh, but for now, here's something a little low volume to help tide us over for now. All right, we're back. Thank you for your patience. Uh, I figured, you know, what better way to break in the Blue Coats lot drum set than by doing a little medley of my Flam Jam solos. All right guys, so uh, it's been about a week since we last spoke, um, and I actually have a gig today. Um, one of the bands I'm in was called The C-Notes. We're playing at a place called The Basement Bar in Minneapolis, and I figured I'd uh, take Shelly with me and uh, see how she handles a little bit of a different spotlight than she's she's used to. So uh, the gig's at seven, it's like 3.30 now, and I gotta get her all packed up, obviously, so I better get started.
Carlos. Thanks, basement bar. Okay, we're all loaded up. I have my friends here. How would you say I did in the performance on a scale of one to ten? Two. Okay. How about you? Ten. Would okay. watch again. Very different <laughs> okay. responses.